Bonjour à tout le monde. Je suis très contente d'être ici aussi parce que c'est la Journée mondiale de l'environnement. It's World Environment Day. So what a perfect day to be celebrating exactly what we're doing when we're talking about, you know, creating good jobs in people who are working hard to do exactly that, protect our environment as we talk about the different industries that we have. I'm really pleased to be joined here today by several people, including Alexander Thompson, Director of Youth Programs at Indigenous Clean Energy, Aaron Wilson, VP of Marketing and Sales at Eco Canada, Kathy Abuso, President and CEO of Project Learning Tree, and Jessica Boateng, a former student youth intern at Plenty Canada who participated in the Stick Greens Jobs Program. So I guess the person who's going to tell us the real goods about the program. Um, you know, if I mentioned, I mentioned that it's World Environment Day, it's also Pride Month, so happy Pride to everyone. I know that it's kind of a really important part, important part of our calendar every year, so I'd really like to be able to highlight that. When we talk about climate change and the environment being World Environment Day, I know that there can be a lot of anxiety, particularly for youth, about what we see happening in our world. And that's why I think it's so important when we are able to provide opportunities for people to take action, to take real action in making the change that we need to see. And I just wanted to highlight, it's happening. When we look at Canada, we have to submit every year an inventory of our GHG emissions. And we, we submit it to the UN. In 2020, it went down. That wasn't a surprise because, hey, everybody was sitting at home eating potato chips, so we didn't expect that to see it. That wasn't a big surprise. But the next year, last year, we actually saw that we continued to remain down on our emissions. And that is actually structural. And it shows that we're bending the curve and that we are seeing a real structural change. There's still a lot more to go. I'm not saying we're there yet. That's why these jobs are so important in the skills development. But I find it's really important wherever I can to be able to show that we're making progress and that we can keep on latching onto that to move forward. And I'd say the other part that gives me great hope in it is because what we're talking today about is about the need, about the fact that we need to fight climate change, we need to protect our environment. And at the same time, there's so much opportunity, so much opportunity here in Canada when we're doing that. Um, last year, the top in the top 100 clean tech companies, we had 12 of them in Canada. That's a lot of great opportunity about the technologies we can sell to the world and about the jobs we can create here. We are now ranked second for clean tech innovation. I think it's so truly Canadian. We can rejoice in being second, and that's a good thing. But it is a good thing. And so I think that when we're talking about all of the innovation that happens within natural resources, that this is a time of great hope and opportunity. And I think that's a lot of what we're talking about, and particularly how do we set up our youth to, skip, to take those opportunities. Alors, les jeunes au Canada sont les plus instruits les plus portés sur l'entrepreneuriat et plus tournés vers l'avenir que bien des générations précédentes. Ils sont extrêmement motivés par le travail qui traite des changements climatiques et, en tant que gouvernement, il nous incombe de les soutenir. Les connaissances, connaissances scientifiques n'ont jamais été aussi plus importantes pour notre société et les jeunes qui se lancent dans ces activités d'apprentissage significatif en sciences technologie, ingénie et mathématiques acquièrent des compétences nécessaires pour avoir un esprit créatif et critique, bâtir les entreprises, régler des problèmes et être des citoyens informés. Um, just this weekend, I was at a youth council and I was talking to a young woman who was going into sciences in university. And when I told her about this program, she was so excited because she was like, wow, like, I didn't know, I didn't know how the skills I wanted to get can play a role. And so it really kind of shows you that sometimes some of the programs that we have out there uh, have a real impact, direct impact on, on the lives of people and our young people. Today, I get to talk about it and I get to, on behalf of the Honorable Jonathan Wilkinson and the Honorable Marcy Ian, announce that the government of Canada is investing more than $30 million to create new jobs and skill building opportunities in the clean technology and sustainable resource sectors. Over the next two years, through this program, nine participating organizations, I think you've had them all pointed out, and you're all here today, um, throughout the country will provide 960 green jobs to youth in Canada, 
60% of whom will be from employment equity groups. And that will be giving people important on-the-job experience. That's so important. Like having those first jobs on a resume makes such an impact. And it's the opportunity to explore careers in energy, forests, mining, or sciences, or earth sciences and clean technology fields. Um, give them a taste of what, you know, maybe they weren't thinking of it, and then they get this job, and suddenly they think, hey, that's what, you know, that's for me. Alors, encore, mais en français cette fois-ci. J'ai donc le plaisir d'annoncer aujourd'hui au nom de l'honorable Jonathan Wilkinson et l'honorable Marcy Ian un investissement fédéral de plus de 30 millions de dollars pour créer de nouveaux emplois et d'offrir de formation dans les secteurs de technologie propre et de l'exploitation durable des ressources. Ce financement aidera neuf organisations participantes au Canada à offrir au cours des deux prochaines années 960 emplois verts à des jeunes Canadiens dont 60 viendront de groupes en quête d'équité en emploi. Le programme donnera une précieuse expérience de travail et l'occasion d'explorer des carrières dans les domaines de l'énergie, de la foresterie, des mines et des sciences de la terre et des technologies propres. These skills development and jobs opportunities are now being delivered by leading organizations across our country, including the Clean Foundation in Nova Scotia, Colleges and Institutes Canada, Electricity Human Resources Canada, Eco Canada, Indigenous Clean Energy, Mining Industry and Human Resources Council, the Penguat Association from Lindsay, Ontario, Project Learning Tree Canada, and the United Nations Association in Canada. And these placements are funded by our Science and Technology Internship Program, which is part of the government's, called the YES program, it's the Youth Employment Skills Strategy. And this federal strategy was created to help young Canadians gain the skills and the work experience that they need to form a lifetime of success in the job market. Oh, today's really important step forward in our journey that began five years ago. Um, this program has created more than 4,000 green jobs for youth today across Canada. More than 80% of them have landed full-time employment afterwards. It's also kind of nice to see that follow through. This is an opportunity that gives real skills to the young people who are getting these job opportunities. And when we talk about sustainable jobs, you know, a lot of what we talk about when, we're, when we talk about what are the opportunities, I can't highlight it enough. We need more people to be stepping into these roles. There is such a need. There are so many jobs being created in this field. And so making sure that young people are getting um, maybe a bit of the excitement to jump into it and the skills is critical to being able to get this done. We can't do it without them. Um, I will end it off in closing by just to say thank you to all of the organizations that are here today. Thank you for the work that you do to engage young people and get them excited about this field. You are doing the heavy lifting that we need to do to be able to fight climate change and at the same time make sure that we have a strong economic future for our country. Thank you very much. Thank you.